a little bit of an echo on this. Okay, now do you hear an echo? No. Okay. Tough no. Nope. Hello. Hello. No. Nope. Okay. So, um, okay. So we'd like to welcome you to Fabric Chicks um, live celebration. We do this weekly. I'm Beth, um, uh, and Roger is behind the camera. Um, he's the other um, owner of Fabric Chicks because sometimes we forget to mention that and he gets a little bit upset. Um, and then we have over here Phyllis. <laughs> Phyllis is going to be scribing and writing down everything that you want. And then Karen is heating up her coffee and standing by the phones um, in case you want to order anything. So if you're not um, familiar with how this works, um, you're just going to type in S. S is you committing to it. And then the number, um, you'll see how it goes. If you have any questions, just pop it in the comments. We have a ton of stuff to do today. Um, hey, Brenda. Hi, Sue. Hi, Beverly Ann and Peggy and Cindy Gygax from Fremont. Welcome, guys. Um, I know you guys have all been waiting to see um, the outcome from the chenille that we did. So um, I don't know if Roger can get a close up of this quilt. That's what we've been posting on Facebook and um, YouTube. So we do have those panels. We have the chenille embellishment kits. Um, and then we did all kinds of fun embellishment projects that I found around the shop. So we're gonna kind of have a chenille kind of day, but we also have fabric and felting kits and all kinds of fun stuff. So anytime during this, if you have any questions, just type it into the comments. Um, we love to banter back and forth. Um, but we do have a lot of things to show. Um, I know, Peggy, it turned out really fabulous. Phyllis says it looks just like a bedspread that she, um, that, do you still eat? She no, still, this was in the 1950s. Oh, in the 50s. It reminds her of her 1950s bedspread. Um, but it's super fun. It, Chenille, I think, is a great way to embellish um, any panels, any any quilts whatsoever. Um, this is my last um, sale until fall. I, uh, oh, Sue. Well, we're going to miss you, but have a fabulous summer, and we'll see you when you get back in the fall. Um, Barb says she remembers those Chenille bed spreads. I know. Um, I know. It's kind of crazy. Um, look, Lynn, aren't you proud? I've got the right date scrolling on the bottom, and we started on time. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. I'm not sure, as always, where to start in this heap of stuff. Um, but we do have some stuff that you might have already seen. Uh, we just brought it back because it is using the chenille, in case you haven't seen the chenille. So this is just a sample. I don't have a kit for it. But it's a super easy way to see if you even like using the chenille. And all I did here is I took five inch um, pieces of fabric and I just sewed the, the um, five strips down it and then cut it. And um, once all, once the chenille was stitched down the middle, it's, it's a bias tape. So you just stitch right down the center of it and then it fluffs up when you wash it. But I stitched all of these down the width of the fabric and then cut the five inch squares. So it was really very um, simple and quick. So if you're looking for a quick baby quilt, kind of retro-y, this is a really fun one. You can put it on any backing and we will have the chenille available momentarily. Um, okay, so we have, um, well, let me show you this since it's on the top. This is a panel. We cut it up and used two of the panels for a um, for pillows because it, otherwise it would have been an awkward size. So this is a great um, baby quilt, but it would also be great if you wanted to add the other two panels to the top or bottom, you could make it into a throw quilt. And we just threw a little bit of chenille right here on his saddle on the umbrella, um, umbrella or rainbow, whatever. Um, but it's just a fun way to give it a little bit of texture. And then these two pillows are also in the kit. So we have the kit. It is, 
um, $50. It includes all of the chenille it. And then um, S143 is $50. The um, quilt ends up being about 39 by 44. So $50 includes the um, quilt top fabrics, the um, chenille it bloomus uh, bias, and all the stuff to make the pillows. So there is that. Oh, it looks like um oh so you'll need to get a uh, trim for the pillow because we don't have this trim anymore so you can just make the pillow without any trim or you can you can find your own trim so fifty dollars for that kit and if you want just the panel it's s142 for thirteen dollars i wonder where lynn is today um s142 is thirteen dollars and then you can do anything your heart desires with the panel. But it's a cute one. No drama llama. Um, Born to be wild. Watch me grow. It's kind of a more modern-y, not so cutesy, but cute baby quilts. I know it's kind of hard without somebody to... Um... Oh, Karen says she's coming. Okay, then we have, um, I'm going to show you all the different chenillettes at the end. So we just finished this one. In case you want to try the chenillette, but you don't necessarily want to go crazy with this big one. Um, although, I'm going to say it probably took, uh, it probably took me about five, four or five hours to add the chenillette and get it all quilted. And it is pretty densely quilted. Okay, so we've got a brand new sample we just finished. Hi. Thanks to Judy. Here's Karen who decided to show up to work. Um, okay. Lynn, you're not the only Lynn. Uh, who, who's the other Lynn? I think you're the only Lynn, Lynn. Um, hi, Jody from Salt Lake. Um, and Victor, welcome. He says, waves to Roger. I know. Um, okay, and uh, Lynn made the quilt for her grandson. Um, yes, Dorothy, I do still have the panel. Um, okay, that's fine, Evelyn. But then, Evelyn, put in your calendar for the wine walk also. It's the third Wednesday. Um, third Thursday. Third Thursday. Third, Thursday. Thir it's third, third, thir third Thursday. Yes. Yes. Um, okay. So then we have this and I know it's not the right time except for you might need it now. You got to sneak out there so they can see you past the, over there. Um, so this is snowy gnomes. So snowman gnomes, but we just um, added the border. So some of you might have gotten the panel earlier on a different sale, but we just added the chenille to it. It just brings panels to life. And then we added a, a border to it. So this is a pretty good size lap quilt. We did put Minky on the back um, and then just quilted it, added the chenille and qu quilted it, threw the binding on, threw it in the washer last night. So this is, it goes fast. It's a super fast it's quilt. Fast. Yes. Fast. Um, we have that as, um, oh, we didn't put a number on it. Oh, okay. Let's so, give it a number. I know. I know. <laughs> so here is a coordinating pillowcase in case you want to be able to give it all wrapped up. Super cute. Find we have the number. coordinating pillowcase. S1. S122 is $14. S122 is for the pillowcase for $14. And then we have, oh, the, um, the kit is S440 for $64. S440 for $64. So for the 
It's a matchy matchy kind of thing. Can you show the panel of the llamas again? It's on the floor in the hallway. Um, okay, so the kit for the quilt, it's gonna be 57 by 61. And it does include all of the chenille that you need, the borders, the binding, and the quilt, um, the panel. So S440 is $64. So I know it's not really winter right now. Well, knock on wood or plastic. Um, we have sunny weather finally. Um, but it, you might need to get it now so you can get it done in time for winter. It's like the perfect gift to give when you show up at somebody's house for Thanksgiving dinner. And we all know that you cannot wait until Halloween to work on your Christmas gifts. So get it now. Um, the panel. She wants the panel, not the kit. Oh, and the panel's here? On the yeah, it's floor. on the floor there. Did you see it? Okay, we still have this collection. So the pillowcase is S122 for $14. And then we have this super adorable, this is all flannel by Henry Glass. There's eight pieces. This is the center of the quilt and um, the, borders. It, the borders. It's just a super soft looking snowy, know me, Mary Beatty quilt. So we've got at $10 a yard, S0119, one yards are $80, half yards $40, back quarters $28. Super soft. Um, oh, June, you guys might not have gotten a, a text message because Christy is um, taking her husband up to the VA in Reno. So um, you probably, she probably forgot to do it. Um, OMG, Dorothy says she still has frozen stuff falling from the sky Monday night here in northern Utah. Oh. Her calendar says spring, yeah. but that's oh. kind of sad because, Dorothy, we've been having beautiful weather here. Beautiful. Um, I hiked on Sunday, had a beer. Um, one of my favorite, well, all of my favorite hikes always end up at some kind of a beverage Place. Well, you've got to hydrate. Yes. So, <clears throat> yes. Excuse me. For sure. Okay. For sure. Okay. S142 is $13 for the llama panel. S142 is the llama panel. Okay. S142 is the llama panel. And I can move all of these. Okay. This would be cute baby gift, too. I think. A baby quilt. Yes, for winter. And sure. then we do have that panel, the main panel. You can get just as yardage. Yep, you can put that away. Um, S121 is $12, and that is just running yardage of the warm and cozy um, flannel. And just in case, we're bringing back the 60-degree ruler because we just got some border prints in. Roger got four boxes, um, four boxes that were delivered to our old address. So obviously we haven't ordered from Michael Miller in three years, but we just got four huge boxes. So I'm excited to see. June, I think he's fine. Um, I think it's just a regular um, visit. And then here is the border print. So for those of you who love gnomes, which I know there's many of you on there, um, this would work great for um, your 60 degree ruler or is any quilt that you want border prints on. Flannel, super soft. And like I said, you got to start now for your um, holiday project. So we're bringing back Halloween already. I know that's kind of a scary thought, but we've got Halloween on today's sale. We've got a little bit of everything because the holidays are coming. Just ask Victor. Okay, here's another baby quilt, and we did just show this, but just in case, uh, it has the chenille. It. So we have this cute little. If you want to, if you want to dabble into the chenille, it, but you don't really know if you want a big project, this little bear is perfect for that. So we have the kit S one twenty three is fourteen dollars. S123 is $14. 
And you just, I know, Victor, but it's coming. I can feel it. Um, you're just going to sew where they have the drawn line on the panel. You're just going to add the chenille. Like I said, chenille, it's super easy. You just lay it, the bias strip down, sew down the center of it, and it just buzzes up when you wash it. And, and for the pillow, you you can spray some water on it and take a real coarse brush and fluff it yes. up that way. It's so, really easy. So if you don't want to throw your project in the washer, you can use a chenille brush, which is $11. It's a wire brush that you, um, want, like Karen said, once you get it wet, you just rub the um, brush over it and that will pull the fibers apart. But they're still secure because you um, stitch down the center of it. So S141, S141 is $11 for the chenille brush. S123 is for the um, bear. Bear. Hello. And then we have a super adorable um, baby quilt. So this is from a golden book. Oops, let me put it the right side up. This is a golden book. And it's called The Littlest Family's Big Day. So it has a cute little blanket. And you know, we always get anything that has all the different color fur or skin. Um, Uh-oh, Victor. He didn't even notice you took the tree down? Uh-oh. Um, okay, so the quilt kit for the baby quilt is S140 for $38. That includes all of the chenille embellishments, the binding, the panel, and, um, and directions on how to sew it down, which is super easy. Um, but, Again, the fast, yes. fast, fast, fast. Very fast. And you might not have a baby in the works that you know of. But it's always good when you're not under pressure to get a baby quilt done and put in the closet so you have it when you need it. Put it in the oven. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Sorry. <laughs> and, then, and then you can um, get the coordinating book. S139 is $14. And it has the whole cute little story of the, um, the family going to on their trip. So, and then of course we've got crinkle in it. I did not put crinkle on the sale, but it's $12. Just put, put, um, crinkle. Yes. Um, Dorothy, that is a true statement. Okay. So there's the baby quilt. <clears throat> Off to more fun things. Um, I only have one of these, but it goes with, look at how fabulous it was with this quilt. So I had to put this on just in case you weren't interested in the other quilts, the other fabrics. But I only have one. So this is the um, Batiks Fat Quarters. And they're all in my favorite colors, purpley pinks. Mauve, mm -hmm. turquoise. Yes. So S128 is $39. S128 is $39. And we only have a one of those that I could find. Okay, on to, in case you were here, oh, this oh we're going to do auction style because oh it's crazy. Oh. Um, so we did a demo on Monday for the scrappy tape. Did you watch the demo for the scrappy tape, Karen? I did. Okay, good. And Just I check thought, it. I want to do that. So what are you going to do with your scrap tape? Well, I was thinking of um, maybe finally finishing. I embroidered some little Halloween traditional little kid squares, right. and that would be perfect to put them all together. Perfect. Okay, boom. boom. So this is the five-inch scrappy tape. I started this in the demo on um, Monday. So you can sew your scraps. We all have scraps. So you can sew your scraps straight. Or you can start twisting them and go wonky. You can have a glass of wine. Yes, and nobody's gonna care. So I did, oh, it's upside down. I actually put through some leftover blocks in here 
Um, this was a binding I just added as a kind of a flange just to experiment. Just to say you could do it? Yes, yes. So I'm going to put this all around the baddie pattern from Villa Rosa. Although I sold all the baddie patterns, so now I need to order myself a new one. So I can't show you the baddie pattern. Um, but eventually, you know, after I demo this 83 more times, so you really get the how and you're to do it. have some straight and some crooked. Yes. Yes. And some flange. I yes. like the flange idea. It's I just kind of because it's leftover binding and yeah. I could have gotten up and ironed it, but I didn't. So we yeah. have scrap tape. We have S69 is $39. It's 25 yards. And that is for the five inch. S69 is $39 for the five inch. We're still waiting for the two and a half inch to get into, come into stock. But then we also have, and I don't have a project for this, but I've got a couple of ideas. So S70 is $49 and that's 11 inches. And it's still, um, it's 13 inches and it is, um, it, one package yards. includes 10 yards of 13 inch wide scrap tape, enough to make 27 13 inch blocks. So you could oh. make 13 inch blocks of all your scraps. Of your scraps. Just random. You could almost do like a collage kind of yeah. thing. Random. Crazy. And then do, make an ultra crazy quilt. Yeah. You have all your longer strips in the center yes. and your shorter scraps on the edges. Okay. So that, we're going to have to see S if Carolina can do us a demo on that. So S70 okay. is $49. We do have a couple of patterns that go with the scrap tape. So we have S73, which is the heart. S73 is the heart. And that, it's a pretty good size. So you can use up a lot of your scraps. Um, 54, 50 by 48. 48. 50 by 48. So almost square. And then you can add some borders and different things. Or you could use scrappy tape and then do borders out of the scrap. Oh, tape. that would be fun. I think really we got to like get use up our scraps this year, okay? Yeah. S74 is just rows of your scraps. So S74 is $10. Yeah, and then she just came out with a scrappy mug. Whoa. Oh, well, this is one we're giving away. I was so, going to say. So we have a pattern for the scrappy <laughs> mug. So I'm just going to scroll here and pick a winner. And I have Sue Walter. That must be because this is your last show until the fall. Sue Walter, so and I'm going to put last show so we get your stuff in the mail ASAP um, before you leave town. Okay, so S72 is $4, and that is for this, the um, cozy to your mug. And then here is the auction, just in case you don't have enough scraps of your own. Um, you oops. want your scraps cleaned up. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So here is a ton of scraps. It's mostly like, look at this. Somebody made a ton of binding. So it's already pre-made binding enough for a good size lap quilt. Um, but they're all like two and a half inches to it. Mm -hmm. It's all random. Okay. So here is. We're doing this auction style in case you need some scraps. S117 is $4. S117 is $4. Starts at $4. Yeah, starts at $4. It's auction style because we like to shake things up around here. So Joyce said it'll be more than a year to use up her scraps. Okay, so here, take that away. I've got one more bag of scraps so we can do both the auctions at the same time. Okay. Look at everybody's like, oh, really? I don't want somebody else's scraps. I got enough of my own. Yeah, but okay. these are exciting. The, well, and they're, I, I almost wanted to pick through it because look at where are you going to find coins? It's like little stuff. You can do I spy quilts. You can do all kinds of fun stuff. Here's another one where she made a ton of binding. Here's tires for a, a little car. So all kinds of fun stuff, some boutiques, some not, um, but you could honestly, here's binding already made up for you. Um, here is somebody, she cut out the uh, border print so you could fussy cut that. That would be fun. S118 is starting at $6. 
Okay, so Victor, you're the only one who wants all these scraps. Okay, so bid on that real quick, guys. Um, here is another idea for using up your scraps. These are literally green scraps for the Christmas tree. So you can use the scraps at five inch um, squares and then there's a little uh, bobble block, but then you can do the scrappy tape around it with the rest of your, your um, scraps. So S111 for 250. Okay, so I've got Victor and Kathleen there. Um, so you, oh, and Evelyn. Okay, girls and gentlemen, let's get this going. So S111 for 250 is the, um, is the fa la la tree pattern. And then if you are using the scrap tape, you do not want to iron until the very end, but you're going to need to press your seams. So this little seam roller from Lori Holt to be in my bonnet is a great little roller, a uh, great little tool for, oh, um, for ironing your seams. So S71. Iron it. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, like that. Well, if you have it, if you want to see it demoed, we did actually demo it on Monday's Monday. sale. So, um, that would be super cute, Victor. Um, so S71 is for the seam roller, and then we have some interfacings for those of you in our, um, in for those of you in our, um, collage class and our different embellishment classes, um. A lot of times you need stabilizers. So we've got this, which is, it's more of a plasticky one than what we typically use. So it's gonna take a little bit more washing away, but it's gonna make it so it doesn't pucker as much. So if you wanna experiment with this one, S67 is $5. And then the, a tearaway one is S66 for $4. So just different stabilizers. It doesn't hurt to try different products. S66 for $4 is the tear away. S67 for $5 is the wash away. And if you use warm water, the wash away washes away, I think, easier um, rather than cold. Yes. I like, and I like to use um, Dawn detergent. Dawn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are five, I'm gonna mark this $5. So this is um, iron iron off chalk powder. It's a refill. So it's Sue Pellin Designs, and um, but you can put it into any of your chalks that you need to refill. You can put this in and then it irons off. So you don't have to sit there and try to get the chalk off of your project. So it's normally $9.95, S47 is gonna be $5 for today. Um, okay, so $5 for that. And then, oh, you wanna tell me about this. that? So um, these are pre-wound Wonderfill uh, bobbins for $29 and it's S64. And you get a total, uh, let's see, this is for uh, a 10. Can. You get um, colored ones and then you get your neutral type colors too. So, so the, I, and I love the bobbinator here because if you're taking it on a trip, you can take the colors you're going to use and they're not going to make be messy. Not um, going to unroll. Right. And then um, it's a lighter weight. So I think that it is 60 weight if I flip it over and see if it's 60 weight. I'm pretty okay. sure it's 60 weight. Um, S117. S117. Is that? Um, I'm pretty sure it's 60 weight. Let's look up here on these. S117. Oh, Mary Min says it's 80 weight. Oh, whoa. So it is, it is really thin. I thought Deco Bob, oh, yep, yep, she is correct. Well, okay. I should not have even doubted you, Mary. Um, 117 is going to, um, so if you're not familiar with thread and the weights, um, 100 weight is like pretty much the lightest weight that I've ever seen. Um, 
and like a three weight is going to be pearl cotton for embroidery stitches. So the lower the number, the thicker the thread. 12 weight is the lowest number that you can put through the top of your machine. Um, if you go anything lower than a 12 weight, you, you can do it in your bobbin, but then that's a whole nother um, crazy. Yes, yes. What size is the bobbin? So these ones are M bobbins, I think I saw. Um, well, good luck. These are M. Um, you would think that they fits a total of four bobbins and the bobbinator. Yeah, these, um, these are M, aren't they comparable? No, I think these are L's. See how those are like shorter and fatter? Yeah. So I think these are L's. Don't ask us. We only work here. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you show them 68? Not yet. Okay. So show them S63 for $5 are um, Super Bob's pre wound by Bobbins. There's three it's orange, pink, hot pink, and yellow. And these are M bobbins. S sixty three five dollars. Okay, one seventeen. I think went to Victor for five dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Victor for five dollars. Is that this one? Right no, nope, that's this oh, one. That's that one. Yeah, Victor is the only one. The mm -hmm. other they're fighting over. Oh, okay. Meanwhile, while they fight over it, I'm going to do S. 65 for seven dollars is a um unstitcher that's kind of like when i quilt i uh, i de quilt all the time this is going to help you take out stitches s65 seven dollars what's nice about this is you can travel it's it's short and you can travel with it mm -hmm. really easy does it say on the back why it's special um i don't know Fix oh. all your stitchy slip-ups. The unstitcher. I don't know how we got this all in here. I can cram it in. It does. I mean, it's oh, I think I switched bags. No, I switched. I definitely switched bags. Um. Okay. Well, here. I can. I can do it. Okay. So that is S one one eight. 118 is going, wow, that was quite a an ordeal there. S118 is Kathleen Raider. Kathleen R for $14. Okay. Don't worry, people. I can probably find more. Um, okay, I'll show just them together. Just put it in Kathleen Raider's um basket yeah like this she can yeah that. she's gonna well i'll tell i'll, <laughs> I'll tell becky it. tomorrow to make it look pretty okay <laughs> so we've got a huge fabric line here and we've had it in the shop for a little while but i have not put it on the sale yet because i was waiting to get that panel done it took me like i don't know 17 years um so we've got a kind of a multi-colored version Look at those butterflies, aren't those fun? Um, so there is um, eight in that collection. And then the turquoise portion of that collection. Look at that, isn't that amazing with the copper metallic? It's not very often that you see coppery metallics. Don't worry, Phyllis, there's an orange one in here. Okay, so this is S0124. Eight of them um, in the turquoise collection. And then we have a purple collection. And there's only seven in the purple collection. So, um, uh, seven one yards is $84. Okay, Carolyn, thank you for letting us know. Um, Victor's going to try that later. He's going to say, hey, I'm here watching, but I can't make any noises as I fall asleep. Um, uh, I keep my favorite scraps and give the unwanted scraps to my mom when she visits. 
That's very nice of you. I personally love scrap quilts. I would say scrap quilts are my favorite. Um, hey, Linda ABC, I was going to call you. I was wondering. I haven't heard from you in a while, but it's good to see you. Okay, so I'm going to kind of close this one so I can fit this other one. Um, this one's kind of got the oranges and look at that stripe is perfect. It's kind of like a sunsetty, fabulous stripe. Um, but it'd be great for bindings. Um, this one has the butterfly in it also. Look at that orange with the coppery metallics. Kind of looks like um, it would match Phyllis's shirt. So S0126 is eight one yards for $96, eight half yards for $48, and eight fat quarters for $28. Um, oh, good job, Victor, good job. He said he got smart and took a nap before. Um, okay, any weight makes seems less bulky when pressed if it is in the bobbin. Oh Very my. true. Lots of people use 80 weight in their bobbins. You can also get more thread on your bobbin so you don't have to change your thread as frequently or, you know, fill your bobbins as frequently. Um, the only thing that I have heard, and I've never personally experienced it, is they say not to fill your bobbin all the way with the 80 weight or 100 weight because um, it's so fine, even though it's very strong and sturdy, it's so fine that you can load so much onto your bobbin that it throws your bobbin out of whack. So they say to only load it like 60% full. So that to me defeats the purpose of putting it on my bobbin. So I usually let mine wind until it stops and hope for the best. And I've never encountered any, any problems. Okay, so here is the, um, we can leave them there. Um, S115 is $11.99 for the charm pack. And that's a five inch square of all the fabrics that we've shown you. And then this is, in case you want to make one of these amazing panels, it's great for you to practice your free motion stitching. And like I say, with anything, it's best to practice your free motion um, stitching on a panel as opposed to um, something you've appliqued. So S114 is $39.99. That's a super great price. Look at how big that is. It's like taller than me and Karen as 114 is 39.99 so this is actually what the panel looked like before I added all of the chenille to make it look like a 1950s bedspread <laughs> so s114 is 39.99 s114 even if you don't want to add chenille to it but you love it and you want it as a bedspread or a big quilt you can put this in the center and then you can just add the coordinating go with it fabrics to it. So S114, S114 for $39.99 is the center panel. And then we'll go through the fabrics real quick. Um, oh, the embellishment kit. So if you want all the different chenillets for Karen, I should have kept track as I was sewing, but you know, when you're being creative, you saw the hot mess. You saw all the shit, all of them tangled up all oh, over the floor. It was a mess. They were a mess. Um, so Karen has cleaned it up, cut it into um, the sizes that you need for this quilt. So um, S322, S322, um, very fancy numbering there, S322 is $45. And that includes all the different fabrics, uh, all the different um, chenillets that you need. And there's plenty. Yes. There is plenty. And even if you don't necessarily want to make this project, there is a lot of variety. So you don't have to buy the big rolls that are 25 and 40 yards. So if you just want to play with it, this might be a good starting point also. Karen would love to cut more of these kits. Oh, I sure would. Yes. Yes, I would. Yes. So mm -hmm. S322 is $45. And then um, let's go this direction. Yep, any direction. Okay. All right. Okay. Can I get a collection of just the copper metallic prints? Yes, Mary Men's. We can totally do just the metallics. Um, do you have info you need for the kit I bought last time? Uh, Marion Bishop, was that the brown um, horse kit? 
I believe it was the brown horse kit and we do have it. I just haven't, sh I haven't gotten out. Um, I'm a little bit behind in the shipping department um, because I just worked on this all weekend instead of sh being responsible and shipping out your packages. But I promise I'll get them out. Um, okay, so S146 is a fabulous deep teal color uh, for the background with the very artsy flowers. Um, S146 and then S96 is the white background with little purpley dots. Um, ovals. Yes, ovals. And then S97 is a fun um, flowery, kind of tossed flowers. Very watercolory and it does have butterflies in it. Um, okay, and then we've got, it's a really kind of crazy how big this line is. I don't know why fabric companies make lines so big, um, but I guess it's so you can do a turquoise colorway or a purple colorway or whatnot. S81 um, is the stripe. Uh, one of my favorite prints. S81 is the stripe. S98 is a light teal background with the flowers. And then what do you have? S79 is um, a white background with the flowers. These flowers are in the similar shape as some of the flowers that are in the large panel. And then S80 for $30 is white uh, leaves on uh, a marbly purplish hot pink background. And this fabric feels really, really soft. It feels really good. Well, Victor, I think you are the only person who can tell how many bobbins they used in a year. Um, he, he, he buys them in boxes of 144 in a box, and he used two boxes last year. Oh my um, God. Although I will say, I don't know how many bobbins come in my long arm boxes, but um, I've thrown away three boxes in the, uh, like in the last two weeks. And I think there's quite a few in there. I think it's kind of a scary thought. It's kind of a scary thought. Okay. Um, okay. So we have S82 is the lavender background with the flowers. S77 is the peachy background, corally background with leaves. And S78. Um, this one you could actually use as like the um, bottom of an ocean seaweedy kind of effect if you oh, wanted to. Yeah. Um, and you could thread paint this to make it a little bit more wispy so it looks like it's flowing. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we have um, S83 is the white background with the turquoisey oval kind of sunbursty effect. And S84 is the corally background with the coppery metallic oh abstract butterflies yes so oh, abstract butterflies on teal and that is s85 for 13 dollars and then this is just some random splotches of white on purple and hot pink and that's s76 for 13 dollars this looks like um watermarks and this is s75 for 13 dollars <throat> and then we have s94 is Very the artsy. blue tealy background with white leaves kind of silhouetted leaves and s87 is i don't know what do you call that like splotchy they marks? look like paintbrush marks okay paintbrushy yeah. marks paintbrushing marks mm -hmm. sure and then the um, bronzy coppery metallic on purple is s100 and 
kind of just a silhouette floral design. Um, an outline of flowers, but very watercolory. S99. S99. This one might be kind of fun to do tissue dyeing on because it's always, oh, yeah. it's usually got a black outline, but this has kind of a fun tealy outline. That oh, would be fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're almost, well, I won't lie, there's like eight more of these bolts. <laughs> S116 is the purple background with the weeds or um, seaweed or um, brush. And then S86 is kind of a stripey. Um, it almost looks petite -ish, it but look it's, petite. yeah. It does. It would go nicely with petiques. And then we've got the teal S, with the copper. Yeah, S88 is the teal and copper for $13. And then abstract butterflies on just random stripes on the white background, S89 for $13. <clears throat> And five more till we get to the fun stuff. Okay. S90. We're not having fun yet? N yes, yes, but it's a big line. Um, S90 is $13 a yard. It is a white background with um, tilly blue weeds and fern and brush and whatnot. Whatever. Yeah, whatever you want to call it. And then S91 for $13. Um, it is just random leaves and abstract flowers on white. S92 is on white kind of, boy, these are random colors. Pink, burnt orange, orange, and they're all different wispy type of shape. And it does type not of look shapes. like it has a metallic, but it's not. <clears throat> And then S93 is uh, metallic leaves and it looks like berries on a light, um, almost a jade, light jade kind of color. And then this is the last one. Last yes. but not least is S95, our turquoise blue leaves on white. And everything kind of looks like it's watercolored. Very pretty. Okay. okay, so here's the collections again. S0, 126, 8 one yards is $96. 8 half yards is 48 and 8 fat quarters is $28. And then Karen will show you S125. S125 are 8 one yards for $96. And this is the kind of teal, orange, and uh, purple, and pink. Half yards, $48. Fat quarters, $28. You show all these collections. I'm going to go find a pattern for you. You're going to bail. She's leaving me on my own. Hmm. That could be dangerous. <laughs> um, and then S124 is the collection of the turquoise and teal. And again, uh, eight one yards, $96. Half yards, eight are $48. And eight fat quarters, $28. This is your teal collection. Your hot pink, while the Medalza collection is S127. And these are your hot pinks, magenta, um, little bit of orange and yellow in some of these fabrics as well. Okay, Beth is here. I'm going to go on. Hmm. What does she have here? Okay, I'm just doing a random on my own. So here is S112 for 50 dollars are spools of thread. Now I can talk a little bit about this. These threads are very useful for um, 
art quilting, especially for any type of a landscape. The uh, weight on these are a little bit thicker. It's a lower number. These are 40 weights. Um, this, and they're variegated. You also have a dark green. I just picked random. Okay, perfect. Okay. You, we went through all these fabric lines? Yeah. Okay. This. I'm just going to bundle them. Okay. Um, so this is variegated green with a little bit of, you can see the gold or copper. And again, this is a 30 weight. So it is thicker than these over here. No, they should all be 30 weights. Um, four zero weight, four forty, yeah, thirty. Oh, this is Mirage. Yep, you're right. You're right. I lied. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't really pay attention. I just got all the variegated. So okay. you're not gonna want a piece of these. So no, with these are designers. They're decorators, so you can make pine needles with them. You can quilt with them if you really want your quilting to stand out. But you don't want to, the, you want a piece with 50 weight or higher. So if you're a perfectionist piecer, you're going to have a piece with like 60 or 80 or 100 weight because you don't want the bulk that the thread adds. And for a lot of us, we don't even notice that thread adds bulk, but, um, but it does. So if you're a perfectionist, you're not going to want to use it. Okay. So as these are just great for landscapes. They're fun. Yeah. Fun threads. So S112 is $50. So that saves you $5. S112 is $50. Um, the charm pack for that collection we just did, the ginormous collection, is um, S115 for $11.99. And then here... Um, Lynn, are a few patterns that you could do using those fabrics. I honestly think a Bargello would be super fun, but any of these quilts, and you, a lot of you might've bought these on um, our previous sale. We just did a big Villa Rosa sale, but this is one of my favorite patterns because it's so quick and easy and it really features your, your beautiful fabrics. You're not cutting them up into tiny little pieces. Is that, is that better for the glare? Like to me, this one would be great, but it's going to be kind of mushy where this one's, the fabrics are really going to stand out. So if you want any of these patterns that we've got here, you can just type in the name and we'll know what to do. Um, and then here's a couple more, Lynn, that would be great for that, that fabric collection. Um, Yes, Sue, you definitely can. Hi, Rondi. Oh, teal striped one in the collection. S O one two four. Uh oh. S one O one two four. Okay. Show them some. Show them the pattern so they can write down whatever they. Okay. Are. So has everybody seen? So what's a good angle for the patterns? Is that a good angle? Okay, so take a look. Grab the name. You got no number on this one. You're going to have to name that pattern. Kind of name that tune. Okay, that's the first row. All righty. Now we're, this is going to be the second row. Split charms. Button box Martina. This is busy. And then two more Bar Bar Barack. I don't know. And the Judy quilt. All right, so for these, you need to put down the name of what you want. Okay, so I'm going to find some other mischief to get into while. Okay, I think I can handle this. Magic pins. 
S55 for $13, magic pen. So we're going to learn together why it's magic because these are new. I haven't used them. So these are, oh, the end, you can grip it really, really well. So they have like a, um, a rubber uh, tip it at the end and so it's easier to grip the the pin to use it and they're not real long I'm noticing so s55 13 dollars um Kathleen I do not see that anybody bought the collection I'm looking I don't see that anybody bought the collection I, so I would have two one yard pieces, but I don't have the bolt anymore. So you can let me know if you want those two one yard pieces. Cause I am pretty sure nobody bought that collection. Well, Lynn might when she thinks about a pattern, Lynn can't do anything if she doesn't have a project to go with it. We wish we could all be that organized, but we're not. Um, Okay, so we have, these are all done. Okay, let's do, we have um, Eleganza just came back in. So this is an eight weight pearl cotton. Um, I know I just posted Vicki McCarty just came out with a beautiful collection um, from, she's from Calico Patch in Kansas, I believe. But um, sweetest, I, she's super cute, super cute. But she um, just came out with a collection we don't have our collection yet because it's just being introduced this weekend at Paducah, but we will order it. But that collection is going to be like $158. At first, my rep said it was like $325, but she was putting two collections together. So, but if you don't um, want to wait for that, um, we do have smaller collections. So, um, Let's right. see, these are variegated. Oh, only one variegated collection got on the sale today. This is solid. This these is are solid. all solid. Those these are all solid. solid. So we're gonna do solid. We'll start with uh, like the pastel solids for S42 for $32. And this is pearl cotton thread um, eight. Okay, so this is perfect for hand embroidery. Um, this is kind of a little bit of a brighter collection, and it is S46 for $32, and it includes a couple of neutral spools, the gray and the white. A little darker, bold collection, S41 for $32, and it also includes black and gray, but a little darker, a little um, richer black kind of color. And these are your darker, bold colors. Continuing on with the dark bold is S44 for $32. And you have a different shade of gray and a brown as your two neutral this way mm -hmm. as your two neutral colors and then the last of the solids is s43 and it has it looks like um only the cream color as your neutral and it has some blues and teals and greens and a gold in it and that's thirty-two dollars. It doesn't say thirty-two dollars, but oh, I can read wait. your mind. Oh, it was Roger's mind. Uh, I can read. Okay, Roger's there you go. Mind. There you go. <laughs> I'm glad somebody so can. There we are with the solid collection. Okay. Okay. So, so if you're it away, if you're there. into hand embroidery, you're gonna want these. Um. The variegated, so Wonderfill does not dye their variegated evenly, so you get more of a random. You're not going to get every two inches the same thing. 
I'm here and we'll pull them up for you while I finish taping these. Okay, so here's the variegated blues and purples. S441. That's a fun numbering. Um, yeah, because I don't want duplicates at this <laughs> And oh, so here I priced them wrong. They were 48 Rogers original price. 48. Okay, okay. you're going to have to read our um, other mind. Okay, they're $48, okay? okay? You want me to? No, you should be doing just yeah. fine. Okay. Okay. So, oh, S it's an adventure at Fabric Chicks. S442. I said to myself, I won't talk over, but I seem to be doing it anyway. June, it's perfect for hand embroidery. That's mm. exactly what you want it for. It replaces like three strands of DMC floss. They're very nice. They're very nice to use. Very easy. They don't ball up and they don't tangle. And if you like, I am every once in a while, I tug way too tight. Way. And they don't break. So S40, S442 for $48. That's this collection over here with the greens and the variegated neutral color up here and down the bottom. Yes, Evelyn, we still have the embroidery book. Sorry. No, that's all right. S443 variegated pinks and red. S45 for $48 has um, quite a variety of different colors. The blues, pinks, and gold. The variegated golds and browns. For S444 for $48. We haven't done that one yet. There we go. So just, just a little hindsight for me is um, Baldoni has great threads. I love Baldoni threads, but I feel like these are the exact same threads, but for significantly less money. So, um, so I love Wonderfill. They are always educating us on the different uses of the threads and they come keep coming out with different varieties of thread. They never stop making new threads. Um, Peggy says, great for wool work, for sure. Yes. Okay, here's another collection of my favorite threads for um, when you're doing pine needles, any kind of landscaping embellishment. These are 12 weight threads, which is the thickest thread you can run through the top of your machine. And it will, um, you want to take them out or you want to show oh, them? Sure. Okay. No. So, um, <laughs> okay. okay. So this is awesome for doing branches, branches tree trunks, tree trunks that I've forever. just bought blown through mine. This is, um, the variegated green. This is good for moss and lichen. Uh, some pine needles, I usually like to use, if I'm going to use this for pine needles, I'll throw in a splash of this bright, um, healthy looking, well hydrated <laughs> pine needle green. What as, do I say? As opposed to I mean, dead, as dead trees. Yeah, Sometimes dead I do tree. dead trees because they do live yeah, in. Well, well, that's why I'll put a splash because I don't want the tree completely dead, just maybe thirsty. Um, so these are the most common, I wouldn't you say, um, colors that are used for making pine trees, the trunk, the branches, and the pine needles. Okay, and oh, that is S113 for $33. I don't think I said the number. Well, you did now. I did, I yes. caught myself. Good job, good job, good job. Good okay, job. so it's time to think about making your, um, starting your decorations for Halloween. Um, I only know that because Fabric, Roger has gotten like two Halloween lines in, in the last couple of days. So we don't have them on the sale yet because I have to get these, huh? Yes, you do. Mm -hmm. But I don't... here is S29 is 1995. And that is enough flannel fabric to make the three different size pumpkins. 
but I've made them. Um, they're super easy. I've made them out of upholstery fabrics. You can make them out of anything. And these are just twigs. Um, when you're out for your hike, just pick up a bunch of random tree branches and put them in your pocket and come home, chop them up and add them to your pumpkin. Yes. As 29, they go super fast. Okay, we have, I know, I hate to tell you, but it's time to think of fall projects. Um, okay, here are some cute buttons. S49 is $2.99 for our Halloween batch of buttons. You've got ghosts, pumpkins, black cats, spiders, spider webs. S49 is $2.99. And then we've got the fall collection, which is fall cleanup. You've got a rake, you've got a bucket, you've got acorns, maple leaves, um, all kinds of fun stuff. And then we have, and I know I showed the black buttons last week, but um, here's a project we actually used the little tiny buttons in. Um, one of them broke, one of them has a missing frame. Oh, I don't know what happened to the other one. Okay, when we find, oh, here it is. So here is cute little, um, we used flannel, you could use wool. Um, well, I think his head is out of, I think we used wool and flannel. I'm probably cheap like that, so I probably mix it up if it's I can't. whatever we have. Yes, it's, so yeah. Um, these two projects are included in this kit. So you get the burlap, which we did the applique on, and then you also have two frames to frame it. And you get both patterns. Yes. Both patterns. So it's a pretty good deal. They're $13 a project, basically, um, for the the pumpkin and the pumpkin and crow and the pumpkin with a body. <clears throat> How many buttons come in a pack? Ooh, I knew you'd ask me something crazy. Sue Walter, do you mean S49 for the Halloween buttons, not S29? I'm just guessing. Um, one, two, three, seven, eight. It looks like there's 10 buttons in this collection. 10 buttons in the Halloween collection-ish. This is 10 on this one. Um, oh, we, so we, we have little eyes in case you want the little black buttons for the eyes. S50 is $2.99, and I have no idea how many are in there. A lot. Um, 35 pieces, actually. Oh, that one says 35 pieces. Yeah, no, nope. these, these don't say. Insane. So our best guess is 10 inch. So if you want just the pattern for little pumpkin head, um, I only have one, but we can order more. So S33 is $4. And I didn't have any for the pumpkin with the bird, but if you want the pumpkin with the bird, they're $4. We can get you one ordered. So S33 is $4 for a little pumpkin head. These have been around forever. Yes. Ever since I've been here. Yes. I, we should make some new shop. samples, Karen. Oh, sure. Okay. <laughs> That sounds fun. Sounds delightful. Yes, it does. Um, can do that. Okay, so here is one of my favorite people is Joe and Roxy um, from Thimble Creek. And this is, these are Joe's designs. So we have one sample here that we made. Mary Beattie, do not order this because you already have the kit. I know that for sure. Um, so here is, if you want the kit for the pillow, it's just a quick, easy pillow. We did use some pleather for the crow just to give it a different texture. So S32 for $11 is just the pattern. S32 for $11 is just the pattern. And then S31 is $28.95 for the fabric for the pillow. It includes the pillow back, the pillow um, front, and the, the applique, plus the pattern. So S. 31 is $28.95. And then we have a few other patterns that he's designed that we haven't gotten samples made up for yet. So we've got S34 is skull and crow. That would be. And then S35 
is um, the skeleton driving a car. And S36 is vintage Halloween greetings. There's a cute little owl and the pumpkin saying, ooh. And then S51 is Old Saint Nick. It's the same type of pattern as the little pumpkin heads. And um, that's this. That's the pattern scene. Okay, so I've got a couple of, oops, that's a blank one. Okay, so we have a couple of giveaways. I have Joanne Garbarini, are you here? Oops, Joanne Garbarini, are you here? Okay, and then I've got Linda ABC, are you here? And then we have, oh, here, pick one, Karen, because I can see the names. <laughs> Uh, we have Mary Men's. Mary Men's, are you still here? Okay, I'm not going to tell you what's in there, but it's a secret. It's a secret. Uh, what about this? Let's do this because I've got Okay, this. so um, let me see. Um, Dorothy Thomas Reed, she won't like that, but um, it's too glittery, but she might. You never know. It is a cute little rhinestone ring. So, Dorothy Reed, let us know if you're still here. Hey, Connie Kaufman from San Diego. I hope you're enjoying your vacation. I'm back. Had to take the ribs out. Oh, my gosh. I want some ribs. Oh I'm gosh. so hungry. Okay, oh, Mary yes. Men's is here. So I'm going to put this for Mary Men's. Um, you want a pen? I'll just want? write on here. There you go. Mary Men's. Joanne still here? No, nope, I didn't hear from Joanne. And did we hear from... Um, Linda ABC. No. Well, she just ordered, but. Oh, she's going to pass on the diamond ring. Okay. okay. You know who I think would love the little diamond ring is, I'm going to put you back in the, the drawing. I think um, Fran Harris would like it. If she doesn't like the ring, I would love it. I tried it on. Oh, Anita. Okay, let me see. If Mary Beanie is on and wants it, she can have it. Otherwise, Anita will let you have it. Okay. So, um, okay, let's show the trims. Okay, we have trim. I'm mixing it up a little bit. S30. This trim is some braided, cording, neutral. Um, I don't know. It, but it looks very vintage-y. Very vintage-y. And I think it would go well with any fall project. Oh, you like your lanes. Okay, Joanne and Linda ABC, comment and let me know you're here. There we go. It has a little Mary bit of green. Beady, let me know about the ring. Uh oh, we might have to put a drawing, Anita, for the. I know, Fran, you would have loved it. Okay, everybody wants to be in the drawing for the DM ring because I don't. Oh, Mary says, give it away. Okay, so put your name in so it's fair for everybody for the. Drawing. I know. How does that get out of control so fast? And okay, that Anita, I'm gonna put your name in twice since you were the first one. Okay, Anita, Anita. Okay, Fran, and then Sue. Um. O M G. Rogers like rolling his head right now. Okay, Jody. Holy moly. Um, Jenny. <laughs> Gosh, Mary, you're gonna make somebody happy. Victor. Um, okay, let me know your name. If I didn't say it, I got Anita, I've got Fran, I've got Jody, I've got Jenny. So you need Sue, something else besides Victor. My I know, Dorothy, it never fails. Um, okay, she's getting up. Here, I can dump these names out. Okay, back on to business. I have S25. S25 is for the black dingo ball trim, pom-pom trim. S24 is for the larger orange, 250 a yard for the orange. And S30 is 250 a yard for the um, braid. It's kind of crazy, but... I'm just telling you, if you don't have these kinds of trims in your stash, 
you need to put them in your stash because when you go to make something, you need it to. Um, you need it now. Yes. Okay, I've got Jody. Jody is the winner for the ring. Oops. That, that Sorry, lost. Anita. I know. I know. Okay, I'll have to so order we've more. Done, we've done these. All right, I'm putting these away to move us, move us on, move us on. Carolyn, I'm glad I'm gonna take this. I'm glad you got home safe. Um. Okay. Okay. So here, these names we can take out. That was for the ring. Oh, that's where all my that's where all my soup mugs went. They're, they're in here for drawings. Okay, so we have Moving on. super fun um, felting kit. So if you're not familiar with a felting kit, I've also used it as a pin cushion here. Um, this is a felting kit. Christy's going to be teaching this felted egg on May 11th. It's $80 for the class plus the kit. So May 11th is the felting class. It's $80, so you can put S413 for $80 if you want to um, sign up for the class with Christy. S413. Uh, something what? that does 113. Here, I'm going to make it a 413 because we have 113 already. S413 for $80 is the felting egg, the kit, everything you need, and the class. And we are going to be doing a class with Christy in August, uh, making this big felted bowl. So you're going to want to know the basics of felting. She's not taking any beginners in the felting class. Um, yes, Sue, so you can get half yard collections of the metallics for sure. Mary, this is the egg that Christy did at the retreat. Um, and then we have a bunch of felted projects. So if you watch, if you were at the retreat and you watched Christy, it went together pretty fast. She finished this whole project in a morning. So if you want just the egg and you do not want to take the class, S61, and they come from Scotland. So Victor, I feel your pain. Um, three weeks or two weeks after I got the shipment, UPS sent me a, um, a tariff, what do they call it? A customs tariff or something. Oh, it was so cute for more money. Yes. So I paid shipping oh. and then I got the um, customs declarations from UPS in the mail. So I called them and said, why wouldn't you charge me when you drop the boxes off? Why would I get it two weeks later? But that's how it is. So it was random. It was so sad. Victor, I feel your pain. S61, $34 for the egg collection. And it includes your felting needles. It includes a felting mat. It includes all the fun wool. And the wool are really fabulous. They come right from Scotland. They're it's kind they're kind of like the best filling wool that I felt. So S61 is the cottage garden A. S60, we haven't made the samples yet, but it's for the pumpkins. S60 oh, is for the pumpkins. Fun. Yeah, a brokerage, like I don't know, I oh guess a brokerage fee or something. I don't know. It was like $54. Mm. 11, oh they charged me 11% or something. It was something ridiculous. Oh, that is unreal. I don't know. I didn't really read it, but it was ridiculous. Um, did you see that I do want the two one? Yes, Kathleen, I, I saw it. I'm sure that Phyllis wrote it down, but I saw it too. Um, here is mushrooms because my sister is into growing, well, hunting <laughs> mushrooms. So we've got a couple of mushrooms that we bought for her, but if you guys want them, We'll order her new ones. So S59 Nine. is the cute little one. You just have to find a little stick a little to put stick. them on. That is so cool. Again, mm -hmm. you can go for a hike. That's why when you go for a hike, you should be looking and picking up all this stuff. Uh, well, Mary Mins, I do not know how UPS works it or what they have set up, but I know that I got tariffs and customs and all kinds of charges. Um. UPS is kind of like the government. When they give you a bill, you just pay it. Um, I called them to or argue it, but there was no arguing. Um, so S56 is for the mushrooms. S59 
is for the mushrooms other mushrooms on the log. And then here is the cutest little bird. Um, I wish Devin was here so he could say the title because it would just make him giggle. Um, S58. Do you want to tell what, us? The, the blue, blue tit? Yes. Seriously? Yeah, that would make Devin giggle. I'm blue, this is a blue, I wonder, that's right. Oh, that's interesting, Victor. I'll have to, the blue tit for S58. Uh, Mary Men's, I'm pretty sure they can because they collect them when I send them to uh, Victor. And then here is a fun oh. poppy. So this would even be a fun poppy to do as a dimensional um, and add it to a wall hanging quilt or to add it to a tote bag. And this so, is like a flat. Yeah, it's flatter, flatter but still dimensional. Yes. You can see the shadows, especially of the leaves. That's S57 for $34. Okay, and then this one, which Christy was so excited when I opened it up. So she said, because um, I only ordered two to see what was in it, because it didn't say anything except for Advent calendar. And so, um, so I opened it up. Christy said I cannot sell the two because we, I have to keep them for her and myself. But we are going to do this as a stitch along, a group kind of a project. So if you want a kit, let me know and we'll get them ordered. S62, it's $99. S62 is $99. And it includes, um, it's got a lot of stuff. I haven't opened up all the boxes, but you've got a brooch um, project and step-by-step -step directions. Um, a toadstool, an igloo, um, little Christmas carolers. Look how cute they are in a little vignette. Um, Christmas carolers, a drummer, a, well, a drum to go with your drummer boy. Some fun mistletoe, the polar bear. Yeah, I can I tell I might have bear. to order Karen a set. Oh, the wow. Yule log, a little orange and some baubles. Um, a candlestick and a donkey. It's like just so much fun there, but they look like they're pretty quick, easy projects. So in the package, you get all kinds of wool balls. Um, yeah, just fill it out. I know. Oh my. Okay. Linda, ABC and Joanne Garberini, are you there? So this is day one. You open up some. You oh. open up one a day for. Oh. But you know me. I'm like I'm not gonna be able to wait till day eighteen to see what this is. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna have to open them up all on the first day. Well, and this then, is, and then you'll get them mixed up. I know what yeah. you do. And then you'll say, Karen, can you do can this? you sort this can you out? Can it you up? finish it for me? Just kind of measure it. Okay, day one is a pretty big one. Oh, busted. Okay, we're gonna pretend like this is day one. It's not day one. So it has your felting needles. It has four different felting needles. It has something else. I can't quite tell. Look at how much time they spent doing this. Oh That's ridiculous. Gosh. People in Scotland are, must have too much time on their hands. Those must be the little. Oh, it's thread. Oh. No, it's your thread and your needle. And then, so oh, this? it's the back of your brooch. So you could put it on a tote bag or you could wear it. So what's Oh my this? God, it's every little detail. Um, what is this? I guess that makes sense. I don't know. We're going to have to read the direction. What? Um, what does it say? There's no direction. There. Oh, wait, it's going to say, um, call dog, ball dog. I don't know. I can't read. I can't read it. Is it? I bet you it's your it's felting pad. It's your felting pad for I would all say, of the other projects, maybe? Yeah, I would say so, because you are going to, if you read the directions first. Well, blah, 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 blah. Um, uh, okay, Holly Broach. Hmm, interesting. Huh. 
So I bet you day two, the felt's in day two. I mm. don't know. Well, so. you'll have to join the stitch along if you want to know what what the next step is. Taking it to the next level. level. Wow. Okay. So S um 62 for 99 dollars and just let us know if you want to do it no it's fine it's my kit so let us know if you want a kit we will get one ordered for you oh look at on monday it was s138 but today it's s62 because we have another 138 i don't want to confuse anybody um okay that, Mary says it's a block you use when felting. Okay, okay I didn't see Julian or Linda ABC, so we might have to pick new winners. So let's see, do I have... Yes, Mary Beauty, there are directions for the wool poppy, and there, Christy says they're super clear, photo by photo. So you definitely could do it. Um, if Mary can do it, Karen can okay. do it. Linda's going to take it on her Christmas cruise. Oh, mm -hmm. Christmas. Okay, Mary Beattie and Sue Walter, if you're here, let me know. You're the winner of those. Okay, that is, I only have two of those. They're three one-yard quilts. Okay, so, so these are, this is so together. This, this, this is, is separate. separate. So okay. I only have two of these collections. We did it at $8 a yard, so if you're looking I'm really trying because I know everybody, uh, it, like, money is crazy at the moment. So we're trying to make really great um, deals for you and put things, organize them together. So here's two different patterns. If you wanted the three one yards, um, they're $8 for a yard. But then you could make either of these quilts without thinking because I've already done the thinking for you. You could do make either of these quilts. So you would just need to purchase seven S54 or S53 to make it and I do have two I have two of those fabric collections so two people can get it s52 is for the fabric three one yards and you can make either of these quilts which make pretty good size 44 by 58 or 43 by 68 maybe it's so small um, okay Sue's still here 43 by 58 Susan. So do you have more of the patterns? Yes, we have, so lots of patterns, we have lots of patterns. I, but, but I only have two, two one yards of, of this two. left. I have more of this creamy one, but the two of these sunflowery ones, I only have two left. Okay. They're super cute, sunny, fresh, farmhousey colors. Um, if you've got a friend who doesn't love a lot of color, that will brighten their day. Um, Sue was Sue Walter. Sorry. Um, okay, Mary Beauty S57 with promise of help when needed. Yes, Mary Beauty. Um, okay, Mary is this one. Okay, then we have some um, sale patterns we found when we were digging through the chenille. It. So we have um, five dollars because we just want to clear out, make space. S forty five dollars. Is this cute dress? I don't do dresses anymore. I've given it up. S thirty nine is um, the blazer. It's a short waist blazer. S thirty nine five dollars. A skirt. So this is a Stella skirt. This is S thirty eight for five dollars and it looks like there's pockets which is kind of fun i love pockets and then um this cardigan which is you know it's a long cardigan is s37 for five dollars okay so for those of you who like to make clothes these patterns are super cheap like less they than are. what i paid for they are okay S17 is the big ginormous rainbow bag that a lot of you might have gotten a few weeks ago, but we didn't have enough for everybody, so we've ordered more. What size is the dress? So uh, okay. S17 is $19. 
it has little dividers so you can put your rulers or your quilts in there. It's great to take to a um, retreat. I mean, it really is a big bag. It even has here retreat checklist, instructor supply, sewing machine. I should say sewing machine pedal for those of you who might forget it, but extension cords, which I always forget, bobbins with extra, um, bed comforter sizes here, your yardage size, all kinds of stuff you need. It's even like a good one um, if you take recyclable bags into the, your favorite quilt shop. Um, this would be great because it um, answers a lot of questions that I get asked almost daily. So like how much for, how much fabric do I need for binding? Um, I love it when they say how much fabric do I need for, for backing? My quilt's going to be this size by, by this, this size. size. How and much backing do I need? My quilts, when I finish my quilt, it's going to be like this size by like this size. How much backing do I need? Uh, okay. Well, I'd say three yards of a wide back will be fine. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah. Okay, as 17 as $19 for the color wheel. Um, for those of you who have problems putting colors together, this tells you exactly what colors work really well and complement and complement each other. So, width of the big bag. OMG, that's a it's $19 long. $19 long. Yeah, 19 inches long. <laughs> 19 right. inches long by 27 inches wide. Uh, the 17. And the size of the dress S40 is um, X, super small XS to 4XL. So those sizes are all in this one pattern. Okay, here is one of my favorite fabric designers is Tim Holtz. And this is a super cute kit we sewed up. It's not too cutesy, um, but it's still Halloween and who doesn't love Halloween? Um, so this is the kit, um, the sample. S23 is $54.95. And that includes all the fabric you need for the quilt top and the binding. It's 46 by 58 inches. 46 by 58 inches. And there's no time like the present for Halloween. Um, if I could, I would do Halloween all year long. Um, Kathleen, that is true. It would not have held your last order. Um, S22 is for the pattern. It's one of those easy three one yard patterns and um, S22, that's a great one for focal prints because you're not cutting your fabric up super small. Um, Lynn, that would be a good one also for the um, quilt, the, that big fabric line that we showed. Um, okay, so the fabric line here is, and we've got it at $10 a yard in the collection. So $10 a yard in the collection is six one yards for six one yards for sixty dollars six half yards for thirty dollars and six fat quarters for twenty one dollars and um ten dollars a yard great price mm -hmm. um we do have three of the fabrics left on the bolt that's all we have the plaids are great for anything Halloween-ish or fall, or fall, really. Or fall. I should not mm -hmm. have put them on sale. I should have just moved them to the fall section. Uh, oh, should have, could have, would have. No. Okay. Um, oh, there's some new stuff. Kathleen, I'm with you. Halloween's my favorite, too. I think because it's not that serious, you don't have to worry about the perfect gifts for everybody. You it's get all fun. kinds of candy. It's you, fun. you have, like, no excuses why not to eat candy all day long okay s18 is the fun orangey plaid s20 is the black plaid s19 is the skulls, skulls and crossbones um and then we do have i only have one of these backings left i have one of two and a half yards s27 and it looks like it's a silver metallic 
I think it, it, I can't tell if it's just a silver or if it actually is metallic-y. I think it's just a silver. I think it's silver. It's just that it's on that mottled gray and brown and black yes. color. So you it gets kind of distorted. But it looks like spooky bubbles. I love yes. it. Spooky, spooky bubbles. bubbles. Spooky that bubbles. could be a song. Yeah. In, in your shower, you can sing spooky bubbles. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. I'm um, getting hungry. Yes, yes. <laughs> so um, S27, I only have one of these left. This is the last of that backing that we have. So this is a 90 inch by 108 inch piece. So this would be big enough for anything you're making. Um, backings, I want to remind you, wide backs are um, really great value. It's You're getting two and a half regular yardage, two and a half yards equivalent to one yard. So... Um, so that makes it like, I don't know, $8 a yard or something if you were to figure it out. But it's also great to cut this up for borders because you don't have to piece mm -hmm. them. It's great for say. binding because you don't have to piece it. Um, it's just not for wide backs. It's yes. not for backing. No, anymore. you can definitely plan it and use it into your quilt. Mm -hmm. And just in case, we do have a spider web wide back. So S28 is $21 a yard. S28 is $21 a yard. And it's a nice crisp black, which is nice. As opposed to this isn't modeled. Yeah. Yes. Right. Yeah. This one brings in browns and kind of grays, grays and blacks. And yeah. It kind of goes with these off white tan kind of yes. colors. Okay. So okay. are we done with Yes, S23 is the kit, in case you don't want to think and you just want to have a fun project, you can get it done. S021, six one yards at $10 a yard is $60, six half yards is $30, six back quarters is $21. And the pattern for easy street three one yard quilts is S22 for $5.99. And then we have some leftover scraps from when we made our sample. They're pretty big sizes. So I'm going to just pick somebody out of our little, um, oh, and it was Anita. That was meant to be Anita. Okay, let me put that there. You can add this to your, um, and it, what was that that we showed? Scrap five-inch five tape? Yeah. Yes. To get yes. words right, right out, out of, of your mouth. mouth. Okay. And then oh, we have some more giveaways. We do have some silk canthas and, and frida canthas and um, so we'll show you those in a second Whoa. um okay so we do have a cute little quilter i love quilting charms with scissors and let me see um i have here oh she is not here i know that okay um she's out of town okay i have terry of the angelo are you watching Terry Evangelo, let us know if you're watching. We have some oil here, and I've got Dorothy Thomas Reed. I think she's still watching. We have some trims here, some trims, and I have Linda Hole Wagner. Are you still watching? And then we have some lace. You want to pick the lace winners? Oh. I have, um, it says 36 inches of old lace goes to Joyce Larson. Okay, Joyce, are you watching? Let us know if you're still watching. I know this is the trick because people leave at the end. Um, is SO21 the hauling fabric? Yes, yes, Evelyn, that's the one you're looking for. Okay, and then we have a beaded necklace. Um, a pattern by Virginia Robertson. Remember, if you ever win something that you don't want, we don't want to clutter up your world. So um, Fran Harris, is she still watching? So we don't want to clutter up your world. So let us know. Joyce is here. So that one goes to Joyce. I'm still here, but what kind of oil? Um, I don't know. Nobody's that multi-purpose synthetic based oil with P-I-F-E. Ideal for hunting, fishing, hobby, household, marine, or automotive. Um, I wonder if you could use it for a machine. I would think. Uh, right? I mean, I, the, machine. I would I mean, think because they, they sold it to me. You know what I mean? The, yeah. Uh, oh, 
the fabric distributors. So what's where nice I get all my about supplies. this is you wherever it has a little um, small little eye where you can drop it. I have this great big monster, so I squirt my oil. It goes everywhere. Yeah, this is what. Who's supposed to get this? Um, oh, pick somebody for it. Oh, okay. This is Fran Harris. Thirteen ninety nine. Yeah. It's oh. thirteen ninety nine. Okay. Sometimes people like to use it as a trash can. Uh, Sharon Weber. Okay, Sharon Weber, are you still here? And Dorothy said no, so she can have this one. This one's our trash one. Trash. Oh, okay. Who got S twenty seven? S twenty seven, I think, went to. Oh, Jenny didn't want it. Jenny was first, but she doesn't want it. So Kathleen, that's for you. Um, okay, so we have names. Here. Okay, Sharon Weber, Linda Hall Wagner, Terry Evangela. Um, I'm here if you called me. Len Jenkins, you if you were here, you would know if I called you. Um, okay, we're throwing these ones away. Okay, pick three new names. Okay, three new names. They are Julie. Pick. Julie P. Julie P. Julie P. Julie, oh, Julie P. One, two. I haven't seen June it. Sterling. June Sterling. I think I'm pretty sure she's still here. Okay, Julie, let us know if you're still here. Let's show this while we wait for that. Oh, so okay. here is a cantha. I think it's interesting that the canthas that are like whole cloth and not patchworky are more expensive than the patchworky ones. Oh. So this is. Is this cotton? This it's is cotton. cotton. This, this one is cotton. cotton. Oh, here it's upside is down. It upside down. Yes. Well, that's so S one six S one six is sixty two dollars. If you're not familiar with these, they come from India, and they are hand sewn. Um, there's interesting videos on how they sew them, but they stitch them together. It's Kind of like the slow stitching except for they're really fast um but people are using these to like throw onto their couches and then they can wash them when the dog's hair gets all over them we're cutting them up to use them for cozies and make things with them so s62 is or s16 s16 is 62 dollars and this one is s08 with our good friend frida s Sixty-eight. As si I think these are longer than these the, are bigger than the other. I ones. think that they're I think longer. That, yes. I think that's another reason why they're more, more. expensive. I think they're yes. made for twin yes. size beds. Maybe these are much as bigger. Zero eight as zero eight is sixty-two dollars, and I do have two of these. So as sixty-eight is as zero eight is sixty-two dollars. So if you need a Frida Cantha. That's perfect for that. And then the rest of them are silk. Donna Taylor, I already put yours aside. And Dorothy, Dorothy, I put a twin size pink one aside for you. But if you want the king size, I do have a king size one. But I think this would be so fun to cut up into a big sunflower quilt. S09 for $79 is a twin size. Do you want to run you want me yeah. to get that? S Six S09 is a silk cantha. So it's silk on the front and then it's cotton on the back. So they're already finished. This they're already finished with um, binding um, and made the brown one into scarves. I'm still trying to make it into a table runner and pillows and all that good stuff in my spare time. But the sunflower, this one I really want to cut up and make into a big sunflower. Um, I think it would be fabulous. 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 The number okay. just came off. Uh oh. S09 is $79. S09, let me get a bigger pen. Is that, does that go on here? Mm -hmm. Yes. S09 is $79. Um, okay. Okay, let's see. So, um, Sharon, we're glad you made it. Um, I'd like the twin size. Okay, perfect. Um, June Sterling is this. Okay. And then, um, that's a blank one. Let me put June's name on here. 
Okay, Julie. Julie's going to be so sad. She always watches it later. Okay, so then um, we have a cream colored one. This one I have. Um, Heidi's making me a cantha out of this right as we speak. So this is another silk one. S07 is $79. S07 is $79, but I think it would be beautiful in a fitted jacket. Um, I mean, there's really nothing this wouldn't be beautiful in. Uh, S07 is $79, and they're about 70 by 90, I believe. 70 by 90. And then we have a red one. You can see the turquoise one behind us. Um, the red one is, let's see, I put them all, oh, on the, of course, um, we're going to open them up upside, upside down. down. Okay, S06 is $79, S06 is $79 for the red one, and all of the silk ones just have a red, solid red on the back. The cotton ones a lot of times have um, a variety of stuff on the back, but the silk ones are all solids. But the red one, this is absolutely stunning. This is beautiful. And, and like, you and don't even know how pretty they are until you see them in person. And they have jewels on them. Just rhinestones, rhinestone. randomly. Uh, it's just gorgeous. I mean, just... I don't, we sold so many of them at the retreat when people could actually see them. They were buying multiples of them. S05. Like Dorothy had to buy a second pink one because her husband thought it was so pretty that he doesn't want her to cut it up. But I say cut them up and use them, make them into beautiful Scarves stuff. Or pillows. Yes. Or... Yes. I'm going to make some pair of pants, but I'm going to. Uh, the silk cotton. ones are the cotton. Yeah. I think cotton, the, the, yeah. the cotton is so comfortable. Because it's lighter, it's lighter weight, and I could, you know, when it gets hot. Yes. S05 is $79 for a twin size orange one. S05 is $79 for the twin size orange one. I think Phyllis needs another orange one. I know, because she won't cut hers up. I know. I think she's crazy. Um, we need to cut them up. You're not crazy. Um, Christy Lee, I just got two long rows of Yellowstone bed quilts all sewn together during the sale. Um, that is not fair, Lynn. Christy, like, challenged me that she's going to get her Yellowstone quilt done before me. So now, like, I can't sleep tonight. S04 is $79 for the brown one. S04 is $79 for the brown one. And we do still have, I think, two scarves cut up. So if you want one, if you want nine inches by 108 inches, um, I believe it's the size of it. Um, you can just hem it up and turn it into a scarf. And they're absolutely beautiful as scarves. S04 is $79. Okay. Do you guys need to see these? Because I think that the people that are watching have already gotten all their silks for the moment. Until they get up, start cutting them up. Here, we'll just show you real quick. We've oh my gosh, look at the blue. A blue one. Oh, uh, well, Karen loves the blue right. one. She should buy it. Yeah, but, but it's not cotton. Um, so you can just type in. If there's one you see here you want, type it in. This is a this blue is silk. silk. This turquoise. one is a turquoise silk. This one's a multicolored. We might have to show the multicolored because it's yeah, so. We're, we're getting into okay. this one. She's going to show you the multicolored one. Okay. okay. So S01. Linda, we see you're going to be so sad. You are really missing out. For $79, it's a multi. Oh, I like that one. All different colors. Patchwork. Oh, my gosh. This would With make rhinestones. fun britches. But I don't want to do silk. Too hot. Too hot. Pretty. So that is S01. Okay, I got Victor for oil, if you're still here, machine oil. And then Linda ABC, you did. You actually ordered, I think, the brown scarf I put in your shipment. It hasn't gone yet. Um, and Linda Meyer, you're the winner of the 
um, bracelets. If you're here, let me know. And then Victor, okay, you got the oil and um, Linda ABC. Yes, Linda ABC, you also wanted a turquoise and a pink one. So I'm going to have to cut up um, these two right here, Victor. And I wonder where Ann is. Um, these two right here. Oh, here's another pretty one. So this is a king size multi one. There's a king size one. Um, this one is a pink king size one. So I'm going to have to take one for the team here, Linda, and cut this up for your scarf. And then this turquoise one, I'm going to have to cut up for your scarves. So that's Karen's work um, already cut out for her when she shows up to work next. We got to make uh, turquoise scarves and pink scarves for Linda ABC. Um, can we order that quilting bracelet? Um, no, Kathleen, but if um, Anne doesn't respond, you can buy it for $24.95. It's... It's $24.95 if Ann doesn't respond and is not the winner, okay? okay. You know, we're real flexible around here. So, um, okay, so we're done with done. that. Yes. We're done with them. Yes. And now oh. we're confused because they're in two different sections. No, it doesn't oh. matter. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let me see because I didn't get any more prizes. Right? Oh, oh, oh. I knew it was too good to be true. That, that's my bin I throw, like, stuff to give away. In. Oh, my gosh. Um, You've got to do these because I spent hours. I know, Karen. I can't believe oh, I forgot. my gosh. We're going to have to do this turbo style. Yes. How do we do it turbo yes. style? And then if you need the bracelet <sighs> for the shop pop, it comes with this little scissor charm. And with the bracelet, you get 10% off of the... Um, at every participating shop during the shop pop. So that's the second weekend in September. If you need the shop pop bracelet, it's $12. Just comment and let me know that you need it. Okay, okay so this go. is turbo. This is turbo. So the uh, 3 8 wide roll of chenille, it has 25 yards on it. The 5 8, the larger one, wide chenille, it has 40 yards. Okay, so here we go. Red, S one five eight for the three eight s one five seven for the five eights there's red i'll try to be coherent okay we have brown we don't have the small brown the large brown s one five six if you need anything that we don't have like the small brown just you put just, small brown yeah just type we'll in order small it. brown yes exactly Okay, so we have the small black, S155. We have the large black, S149. There's your blacks. And if we go too fast, you can always go back and rewatch any portion of this. Or just name that color. Yes. Okay. And right? the size. That. Name the and color the size. and the size. The color and the size. Mm -hmm. And we respond to small and large as well, yes. correct? Yes. Okay. So we're going to do white. Small is 153. Large is S154. Boom. And Done. if you're not familiar to watching anything that you saw, you just type in S. S is you committing to buying it. And then the number and how much you would like of it. And you can call us in the morning with your info. Or you can call us right when this ends. Okay, your navy color small is S152, large is S145. Okay, we don't have the small tangerine, but we can order it. The large is S148. We don't have the small the <laughs> pale pink. Is this one the, yes, pale pink, but you can order it. The large is S one five zero. Okay. Um, this color is I have to cheat and read it because they're so oh swift. This is evergreen. Small is S one five one. The large is S one four seven. Okay, that's D. All right. I'm just trying to. Okay. 
lilac. We only have the small here. We can get the large. The small is S339. So these are all done. Thank you. So the next ones we don't have. Okay, we only have the large, we can get the small for these colors. And so the um, khaki is S338. This side you did the already. Purple, right? this side is done. Okay. The purple is 337. The This color is azure. Am I saying it right? Blue? Yes. Azure blue is S336. And these I just thought we'd show together so they can see the difference in the yellows. Okay. So this color, the brighter yellow is lemon. The small is S159. The large is S323. This yellow is considered pale yellow. The small is S327. The large is S324. Are these? Yeah, you have to hit the light. These greens. Um, oh, They're the same. They Look, yeah, lime oh, green. Lime green. Okay, the small lime green is S126. The large is S125. Okay, these are sage, these two. The small sage is S330. Large is S331. This one is fern. We only have the small in stock, but we can order the large. That's S334. And the name is fern. Can show those two together and see oh. the difference in the color. Yes. All three. Well, and there was an evergreen color too, which I don't see. And this is fern. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is jade, and we have the small is S332. The large is S335. Then there's blue jade. Blue jade. The small is S329. The large is S328. And then the gray. The gray, we only have the small, but we can get the large as well. And that is S333. If you want the large gray, just put large gray. And then just in case you are not familiar with more patterns that you can use chenille it with, and it, I mean, the patterns don't really show it justice, but um, we've got the wonky zigzag. And you can see that they've sewn it here, but I don't think they've sewn it. They've sewn it around the outside edges of the zigzag. Here on this um, zigzag, they sewed it all, you can see four rows of it in the white. Kind of like the elephant pillow that I did, where mm -hmm. I made the snow bank. Yes. You can use the white to make a snow bank too. That's really so fun. So this might be a fun pattern, Lynn, with the florally fabrics that we showed earlier today. Oh yeah. This one I know you're all gonna love. It is patriotic. Who doesn't let, pa love patriotic? So this has chenille it around the stars and then it also has chenille it for the binding and on the banners. Not the banners. binding, but the, um, the ribbon. And that's S129. Hmm? 129, these are all $12. This one is super cute. It's birds on a wire. The wire across is chenille it, but then on the quilts, they've got chenille it also. And this little flower here has some chenille it. 
um, super cute. This is a good way to practice how to use shenillet. And this pattern is S130, the bird's S130. And this is another fun Venetian windows where they've just sewn the shenillet around the appliqued um, pieces. And then they also sewed shenillet here or on the edges of each block. And that is S133, S133. And for those of you who love to make clothing, here is embellishment on a sweatshirt. Ooh. I can't believe it's a sweatshirt. That would be a super fun class when we can get our acts together. Mm -hmm. um, I'd love to be able to just sit and make samples all day. That would be like my real dream come true. <laughs> um, and that is S135. And then this one, I keep threatening that we're going to make it. It is adorable in person. This oh, is the yeah. cutest jacket. So what she does is she lays the chenille and stitches it onto a wash away. And then when she washes away the wash away, it blooms up and she kneels out. And then that is um, the wash away disappears. So that's a fun one. One of these days we're going to actually make it. And this is kind of like an open weave. Yes, which is it is very just, open. Weave. And this is just so 1960. It is. I had the best that was yes. like in the But for like the summer. It'd be cute with like a tank top underneath mm -hmm. it. And it then, because it's very lightweight. And you could do any color. Any color. And I have could bought the block. chenille, because you need several rolls of it. I have bought the chenille, I don't know how many times to make it. And then I sell the chenille. Because, because I don't get it made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And this is S134. And then this is not by the same chenille people, but they are using chenille in the pattern. So this is a fun strippy one where they just sew all the fabric strips together and then they chenille the rose on it. And then... So they superimpose the rose on it. That yeah. is fun. Yeah. And then on this one, which Emily, if you're still watching, might be up your alley. This one, they chenilled the rose in the center. So it's all fabric applique onto the blocks. And then the rose is a dimensional chenille it. And this pattern with the deer horns is S137. And for the rose, that is S138. And in this, if you didn't watch, we interviewed Linda McGeehee this morning on Quilt Show Reno's Facebook page. And I, as I was finding these patterns, I found this pattern tucked in it. So if you love to make tote bags, this is a great one. And Linda will be in person doing... Um, Classes all week starting on Tuesday in June. Um, Quilt Show Reno is the second week in June, starting on the 13th with classes, and the show opens to the public on the 15th. Um, so stay tuned on Quilt Show Reno for the teacher interviews. It's kind of fun to get a behind the scenes um, take of what the projects they're actually doing. So and that is, is S13. Okay, one. and then I have another winner here. Okay, Dorothy. I have some cute little ribbon. Um, it looks like crocheted ribbon here. Dorothy Thomas. Um, Kathleen, let me know if you want the bracelet. Because um, Anne's not on. And then I have some. If you want these snaps, just type in you want them. Um, I just found them in a box. So if you want those, just type in that you want them. Otherwise, um, if you missed any of this, if we went too fast, you can go back and rewatch it. Um, you can order through the weekend. We leave the tags on through the weekend. And thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you to our wonderful people that showed up to help make this happen. Yay. Um, thank you, Phyllis. Yes. Thank you, Phyllis. <laughs> thank you, Karen. Thank you, Roger. Um, all right. Go get some sewing done, um, Dorothy. Okay. Um, go get some sewing done, okay? We will see you on Monday with some fabulous demo. It could possibly be the 60 degree ruler because Roger just got a bunch of border prints in. So we will see you <laughs> soon. Have a great day. Bye. 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 See you later.